بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules. So in this session we will be studying um, the eighth, the ninth uh, letter of Arabic alphabet. It is called ذال. Uh, the sound is ذ. The letter is called ذال and the sound is ذ. Okay. Okay, what uh, what is uh, the muharij? So the muharij, the main muharij is the tongue. So it is it is uh, pronounced by from the tip of the tongue, from the top side of the top, uh, from the top side of the tip, and the bottom edges of the top incisors is is similar to the the one we study the. Okay, it's quite similar to that one. It's actually same uh, muharij, but the characteristic, the sifat different. So that's why we have a different sound. Okay. So what we do is we explain that first. What are you doing right? Okay. Okay. So the tip of the tongue. So we have this is the tip, and we have in the tip we have the top side. So we take the top side of the tip of the tongue, and the bottom edges of the and they are touching the bottom edges of the top two incisors when we are pronouncing them. Okay. If you see another diagram, so that's the top side of the tip of the tongue. And this one is uh, the bottom edges of the two top incisors. Okay, so what we'll do, I'll explain this in 3D model. So I think that will make it a bit more clear. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So this is the tip of the tongue, yeah, and we will, okay, at the, the top part of the tip of the tongue, that will be touching the bottom edges of the front uh, top two incisors when we are pronouncing the word then, okay. So that's it, okay, and come back to... So is it uh, a light or heavy letter? It is a light letter. When I uh, when I'm pronouncing it, the so my mouth um, remains flat, or as if I'm going to start smiling, the mm -hmm. sound, th, the okay. Is it a connector or non-connector? It is a non-connector. Why? Because if you see the connecting forms, I suggest that. Is a non connector. This is how uh, it is written on its own. If it's written in the beginning of a word, um, uh, it can't take any other letters after it. Sorry, it can't take it. That's okay. If it's written uh, in the middle, it can take something before it. Uh, it can take a letter before it, but not after it. And if it's written um, at the end, it can take letters before it so that's why it's a non-connector okay. so how it is written uh, it is it is written like dal dal but um, with with us with us one dot it is written with a single curved stroke from top to bottom single curved stroke from top to bottom one dot above it as one dot above it and it rests on the line okay that's the imaginary line and let me do it practically okay so that's the situation. If it's written on its own, then if it's in the beginning, it's same as if it's written on its own. Down again. Then, then, okay. If it's written in the middle, okay. If it's written this is extra bit this should be there let me write it down again 
and if it's written at the end okay okay for so it's okay for transliteration purposes we will be using th underscore because we already been using th for the but for that we will be using we will be using a th underscore and um english equivalent is a th as in the word of that or weather or bath okay so these are the english equivalent for the word that or the sound th, th, th. okay so this is the end of this session um we will see you in next session inshallah until next session assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh